What's up, Sagittarius? Thank you so much for watching, y'all. This is New Kid on the Block Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing a Who's Coming Towards You in the next 72 hours reading. We're going to go ahead and see who fucking with you and what they want with you. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get y'all reading started and see who this person is. And Sag, I do appreciate y'all's support so much. I do just want to let y'all know that ahead of time. Okay? <laughs> Let's see who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Whoever this is, they're going to be somebody that's um right in your life. This person could be a miracle to you, literally. This person bring good good action to your life. Like whoever this person is coming towards you, you feel good when you're around this person. They make you smile. You love looking at this person, y'all. But this person ain't nothing to play with though. They not gentle at all. Don't fuck with them. <laughs> like don't fuck with them. Like don't play with them. They don't like that shit. This person could have been waiting on you, but you took too long to speak up with this person. They was waiting on you to be spontaneous and just let them know that you want them or like them. And they've been waiting on you to say something, but it's like, damn, Sagittarius ain't said shit yet. This person could have been talking to other people about you, getting advice about you. And then when you finally, um... They've been getting advice on you, Sagittarius. They've been waiting, trying to see, like, what's going on with you. Do you have any friends? Like, you got a girlfriend? You got a friend? This person been looking for you. Mm, they've been checking for you. So, whoever this person is, they want to get with you. They're interested in talking to you, seeing what you're about. Why is miracles here? Why is that there? This person that's coming towards you is somebody that don't really trust easily. A lot of shit has happened to this person that caused them to close up or shut down. But this person know that they deserve to be happy with somebody that makes them happy. They're not in a relationship, but they don't know if the relationship between the two of y'all will work. This could be somebody new that's just scoping you out. Or this could be somebody old for some of y'all that's just like learning lessons when it comes to forgiving other people. But for a lot of y'all, I feel like this is somebody newer in your life that could be a soulmate to you. Or this could be somebody that just, they feel good to you. Like when you're around this person, they feel like y'all known each other for fucking five or six years. Some of y'all that feel like you've known this person forever. But it's a miracle. This person coming towards you, it's a good thing that this person learned how to forgive and worked on forgiveness because this person could possibly teach you the same thing. That's why this person is considered a miracle in your life because they can teach you some things that you probably ain't never learned before. They kind of, uh, they talk to their friends a lot too. This person consult with their friends before they, um, before they make moves. They just want to know if like, shit, am I doing the right thing by trying to reach out to Sagittarius or should I fuck with them or what's up? This person is trying to stay positive. They see you as somebody that's real positive too. Tell me more about this person. Some of y'all, this could be somebody from your past coming back towards you. 
they feel like the relationship between the two of y'all not over with yet you could some of y'all could actually just be dealing with this person already even if you and this person were separated or on a little break this person wants you back they feel like they're ready to take a chance on this relationship they do still love you for some of y'all if you've been dealing with this person a long time this person do love you or if this is a new person coming towards y'all, this new person feels like this is somebody that I could possibly fall for. But they don't know if you're in a relationship or not. Yeah, This person been watching you. If you think they haven't been watching you, they've been watching you. They want to make sure you're not in a relationship with nobody else. If For some of y'all, they knew about a relationship that you was in. And they want to make sure you're not still fucking with that person. So they've been watching you close. They want to be the main female in your life. For some of y'all, this could literally just be a female that you're dealing with. They want to be the main person in your life. They don't want you fucking with nobody else. The number two could be important or the number 22. Some of y'all, this person see you as like an older man that's real mature and on your shit. The number five could be important and this person is mature too. They real, they on their shit too. This person ain't childish. Y'all are mesh well together. You ain't got to worry about um helping this person or supporting this person. This person already got their own shit. This person don't really need a, need a relationship or need to reach out to nobody for a relationship in order to get their finances and shit. This person's independent. For some of y'all, you could have been, um, you could have had this person on the block list or this person could have blocked you for a while and now they unblocking you to like fuck with you again. And for some of y'all, y'all got, um, y'all have like your mama or your daddy could be coming towards you to have a conversation with you too. They could be coming towards you telling you that you're a good person or something like that. Like they see you changing your ways, glowing up and all of that. But some of y'all, y'all can have like a, um, like an older person coming towards you to talk to you about a relationship that you was in before. Like this could be like a parent figure or, um, it, it could even be an older friend or just an older male coming towards you to give you some advice on a relationship that you had before this person came along. Somebody's going to be telling you to let a relationship go if you don't honor it or if you don't want the relationship. But you got a new person coming in that really care about you. So you might have two people coming. You got a few people coming towards you, Sagittarius. <laughs> you got like... <laughs> You got like, oh shit, why is that there? You got a few people coming towards y'all. Some of y'all be careful when it comes to driving and shit like that, cause you could have a policeman coming towards you like a, or a policeman on your ass. So just be careful when you're driving and shit like that. And for others of y'all, you could be fucking with a policeman or the person that's approaching you next could be like some type of official person. Like they could be some somebody that wear a uniform. Somebody could be like fucking with a policeman or a fireman or something like that. That's not everybody though. Somebody feel like you lying though. Somebody feel like you lying. You haven't been spending time alone. Or this person is coming towards you feel like you haven't really been spending a lot of time alone. Like you 
you going through some type of loss or sadness this person feels like you um you're trying to release the grudge from a past situation like an old relationship they don't feel like you over something but they do want to be with you what does this person want from Sagittarius y'all got so many people coming to us y'all This person wants you to let go of something that's that's not serving you no more. They feel like you're dealing with somebody that's real bitter and mean as fuck. Somebody that's harsh with their words and they, they talk negative to you. But this person feels like don't put yourself through that shit. Don't stay in a situation like that. Be happy. Come be happy if that's what you want. This person wants success with you. They want you to stop living in the past. They want you to come be happy with them. For some of y'all, this could be a Libra that you're dealing with, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Leo, another Leo, or a um, Sagittarius, or Aries. This person feels like the person that you've been dealing with is causing you to lose your confidence. They fucking with your head a little bit, and they just want to take you out of that. Give me something else on who's coming towards Sagittarius in the next 72 hours. Ooh. Whatever this person is coming towards you, you have you talked to this person before. Y'all had some good conversations with each other. But this person don't feel safe to connect with you or be around you. But they do want a commitment out of you. They see you as somebody that they do want to be with or they want to try to have a relationship with. But they just want to be able to trust you first. You know what? I want to know about something else, though. What does this mature man want that's coming towards um, Sagittarius? What is mature man and woman? You can have a, a father figure coming towards you that want to give you advice or somebody that's just like a, a older male figure in your life could be an older friend. But somebody is going to give you some advice on how to heal yourself from another situation. This person is going to be talking to you about like getting your wish fulfillment and bringing balance into your life. Why is mature woman here? Whoever this mature woman is or this older um, woman is going to be talking to you about uh, figuring out how to drop burdens in your life. Anything that you don't want to deal with, this person is going to help you move forward and move past that type of shit. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer or a Scorpio. All right, Sagittarius, so you got a lot of people coming towards you. What's the advice for Scorpio? Oh, I almost called y'all Scorpio, Sag. <laughs> Sagittarius, whoever this person is that's coming towards you um, or whoever you're leaving behind as far as a relationship, don't speak on it too much. Just let the chain show for itself. Like, if the person that you was with was somebody that talked bad to you or they didn't know how to appreciate you or just tell you that you was worth it, the advice is don't speak on that situation. Don't even fucking worry about it. Just do your glow up. Do your glow up and keep giving off good emotional energy. Allow people to think what they want to think. You know you wise. You understand that you're making wise choices. So that's all that should be good enough. Don't worry about what everybody else talking about. Just go ahead and go out there with your feelings. And get what you want. Alright. So that's what I got for y'all Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. This is New Kid on the Block Tarot. Y'all know the rest. I'm out.